my dear students welcome to my channel learning hub so in my previous video i discussed about string manipulation that is basic operations in this video i will be covering different functions predefined functions and string size slicing operation so we'll start with functions i've written this for you uh, suppose s is a, an identifier which contains computer computer is a string See, it is enclosed with single quotes or double quotes. Print S dot capitalize. Capitalize is a function that will make the first character of the string, that, that it will change the first character to uppercase. So, output will be computer. Rest all uh, characters will remain same. Only first letter will be converted to uppercase. S dot find. It, this find function will find the specified string, substring in the main string, S dot, in this string. So, in this, whenever it will find COM, that is, COM is starting from 0. So, it will print 0. Basically, it prints the index of the first character from where the substring starts. If, suppose, this is capital letter. In that case, it will not be able to find this substring in this string. In that case, it will print minus 1. We can, another argument that we can add in find is the starting index and the last index means the bound within which we have to search the substring. Suppose we have a string of 20 length and I want to find a particular string only between 2 to 5. So, we can write here com in 2 to 5. So, all the upper limit and lower limit is inclusive. So, it will find, suppose here indexing will be. So, it will find from here to here. Whether it is present, com is present, no. So, it will print minus 1. Next function is s dot is lnum. Lnum stands for ultra uh, alphanumeric. Alphanumeric means it is a string that contains either character or uh, numbers. It should not contain any spatial character like space, hyphen, underscore, nothing like that. Only alphabets A to Z, either capital or small or number from 0 to 9. So, it is it contains alphabets. So, it will return true. Whenever function contains is, is this one. Those, then it will return either true or false. So, this 12, ABC, 12. It contains numbers as well as characters. So, it will return true. S dot is alpha. Is alpha means it will check whether only alphabets are there. If there is any number or any special character, it will return false. In this case, it contains only alphabets. So, it will return false. True. S dot is digit. It will return true only if, if in string I have written only digits. Then only it will return true. Otherwise it will return false. So the next function is is lower. It will check whether whatever is there in the string it is in uppercase or lowercase. Or if all the characters are in lowercase it will return true. Otherwise it will return false print s dot lower now this is is there then it will check whether it was in uppercase or lowercase like in this is upper it will check whether it is in uppercase or lowercase when is is not there it will convert it into lowercase or it will convert it into uppercase so it is already in up lowercase so it will remain the same in this case it will return false and in this case it will return computer in uppercase and this is space will check whether whatever is there is a space or not in this case it contains characters it contains alphabet so it will return false now we will move ahead with string slicing slicing as the name indicates slicing means a piece from the uh, any suppose we are cutting a slice from the uh, brick ice cream break so that is a part of ice cream similarly we have to if we want to take a part of string then it becomes string slicing suppose i have written 
computer science. So in this case, slice is written like, suppose I am writing print S starts with square bracket and then we have to mention from which character to which character we want. In this case, the upper limit is exclusive. So here I'm writing in the index up to 15. So we can write from 2 to 5 means from 2, 3, 4. So it will return M, P, U. Upper limit is exclusive. If we want, we can also write negative indexing. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. If suppose I am writing minus 5 to minus 1. In this case, you can see the colon here. Don't use comma. Colon is mandatory. Minus 5 to minus 1. Upper limit is exclusive. So it will print from here to here. I, A, N, C. Only. Suppose I have written just opposite of it. Minus 1 to minus 5. In that case, in this case, the, the range doesn't matches. Minus 1 to minus 5. Nothing is there. So it will print nothing. Suppose I have written S from 2 to 100. Now the length of the string is only 15 and upper limit I have written 100. Because this does not exist, exist, it will not generate an error. In fact, it will print the string till end. In this case, it will print M P U T E R S C I E N C E till end. Similarly, if we are writing from suppose 11 to nothing, means we are not mentioning the upper limit, so it will start from 11 till end means it will print i e n c e if we are not mentioning the lower limit and i am writing the upper limit only in this case upper limit is exclusive till here it will print everything c o m p u also because it is 5 is written so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will print up to this. In this way, we can slice the string. So I'll demonstrate all these things on my laptop. So my dear students, you can see this is a small program to demonstrate how we use string slicing in string. So this is the original string. S is equal to computer science. Now this line will print the length of string, whatever the length is. Indexing will start from 0 means the in last index will be length minus 1 because it will start from 0. So it will this statement will print the original string that is computer science. I will run this program then I will explain. So you can see the output function f5. You can see the output length of string is 16 original string computer science. Now from here the slicing starts from 2 to 6. See, this is 0, 1, 2. Yani 2 index start with M. M at 2 index we have M. Upper limit is exclusive. Means 6 means it will print up to 5. M is 2, P is 3, U is 4 and T is 5. So it will print up to T. 2 to 50, upper limit is not given only. That means uh, upper limit whatever is given that it does, then does not exist. So it will not generate any error. It will simply print computer science. Means from 2 to last character. Here minus 2 to 6. Now minus 2 is this one. And minus 6 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. C. This is minus 6. So condition doesn't match. Because it should start from left to right. So condition doesn't match. So it will not print anything. But if we will just do the reverse, means minus 6 to minus 2, upper limit is exclusive. So it will print from C, I, E up to N because upper limit minus 2 is exclusive. From starting, if lower bound is not giving, it will print from starting to minus 
2 minus 2 is c upper limit is exclusive so it will print up to n similarly up, upper limit is upper bound is not given so starting from 3 it will print everything so 3 is p from p to till n it will print everything this finishes string slicing now we'll go ahead with functions now you can see the functions print s dot capitalize our original string is i'll just print the original string also print s now i'll run this program then i'll explain each and every line see the original string is computer science s dot capitalize it capitalize the first character that is c s dot find com com is present very well present here c o m that is it starts from zero so it will print zero if i have written c o n in that case here c o n is not present so it will print minus one now in this statement s dot find com zero to three it means it has to search com in lower and upper bound yani three zero to three zero one two three from here to here it has to search whether this com is present or not it is present at index zero that is why it will print zero is l num alphanumeric because there is no digit that is why it will print false a b c one two three is l num means it contains digit as well as as well as character that is why it will print true next one is is alpha now you must be wondering computer science is full of alphabets only why it is printing false because you can see the space is there alpha checks whether all the uh, or whatever is there in a string is a character or not if it is a character then only it will print true in this case suppose if i am printing here computer science i will just remove this string and uh, i will run this program again function f5 you can see now it will print true you can see it will print is alpha it will print true so is digit whether only digits are there you can see here is digit only digits are there no is lower because computer science is written in lower case that is why it will print true next is lower means it will convert the string into lower case it was already in lower case so it doesn't make any sense is upper whether all the characters are in upper case no that is why it will print false only upper if we are writing then it will convert all the characters in upper case see you can see here it will just change it to upper case s dot is space whether only spaces are there no that that is why it will print false so my dear students i hope you understood the concept so if you like this video please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you and have a nice day